Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use Heb rule to design Heb network for the given data set. This is the solved example number 3. Link for the other solved examples is given in the description below. This is the data set uh, given to us. Uh, this uh, data set contains uh, two patterns. The first pattern is L and second pattern is U. We need to use the Heb rule uh, and then we need to design the Heb network in such a way that the Heb network can uh, classify these two things properly here. In this case, uh, we have uh, uh, plus and dot. Wherever there is a plus, we need to consider it as one. And wherever there is a dot, we need to consider it as a minus one in this case. First, we will try to convert this particular data set into a uh, proper, uh, what we can say that uh, the data set. The first pattern is L and second one is U. So that is the first column in this case. The second set of column contains the inputs. In this case, if you notice, we have uh, nine uh, uh, squares are there. So for each of them, we have one input and B is the bias here. And the last column is target that is Y in this case. So first we need to convert that pattern L into a proper numbers here. So wherever there is a plus, we need to consider one and wherever there is a, a dot, we need to consider minus one. So I will start counting here. So it is one, this is two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine. So two, three, five, six should be minus one and remaining all should be plus one. You can see here X2, X3, x5 and x6 are minus 1 remaining all are plus 1 in this case and bias is 1 i will consider this particular pattern uh, class as 1 and another one i will consider it as a minus 1 so you can see here pattern l is 1 pattern u is equal to minus 1 here now again this one i need to consider uh, or consider and then convert it into a proper number so this one is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 2 and 5 should be minus 1, remaining all should be plus 1 here. So you can see here x2 and x5 are minus 1, remaining all are plus 1 over here. As I said earlier, L is uh, class 1, U is class minus 1 in this case. Now we need to consider this particular given data and then uh, we need to uh, apply the Heb rule and then we need to design the Heb network over here. To do that, first we need to initialize uh, all the weights as well as the bias to 0. So there are totally nine inputs are there. So we need W1 to W9, nine uh, weights are required and bias is set to zero initially. Now what I will do here is uh, I will start with uh, applying the Heb rule so that we can modify this particular weights after seeing each input. So first I need to see this input and then I need to see this input and then I need to modify this particular weights. The Heb rule says that WI new is always equal to WI old that is the old weight plus x i y what is x i y x i y is x i is input and y is the target for that particular input in this case now uh, what i need to do over here is uh, i will put this particular entire input uh, over here or the input uh, training data and then i will show you how to do the weight modification so this particular part will show you the weights modified now initialize uh, we have initialized the weights is equal to 0 0 everywhere uh, considering these particular weights, uh, after seeing the first input, I need to modify the weights here. Now, what is the weight modification equation? Wi new is always equal to Wi old, that is nothing but this particular thing, plus Xi y. So, W1 new, that is nothing but what? W1 new, this one, is equal to Wi old. What is the old weight? 0. Plus Xi y. What is Xi here? That is X1 is 1 y is equal to 1 here 1 into 1 is 1 1 plus previous weight is equal to 0 that is nothing but 1 here now coming back to the next one w2 new w2 new i need to calculate this one how to calculate this one w2 old w2 old is equal to 0 plus x i y x i is nothing but x2 y minus 1 into 1 is equal to minus 1 plus 0 that is nothing but minus 1 here Coming back to W3 new, W3 new is equal to W3 old again that is equal to 0 plus minus 1 into 1, minus 1 into 1 is minus 1. So 0 plus minus 1 is again minus 1 here. Similarly W4 new is equal to W4 old that is 0 uh, 
x4 is 1, y is 1, 1 into 1 is equal to 1. So, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 here. Similarly, we need to find out all these particular values here. Now, once you do this particular thing, what is the next part over here is to calculate uh, the next modified weights after seeing the next input. So, we have done with this particular input. Now, we have to consider the next input. So, the uh, current weights are what? These are the current weights. We have to calculate the modified weights here. So, W1 new, this one is equivalent to W1 old that is 1 plus XI y. XI in this case is what? X1 multiplied by minus 1. 1 into minus 1 is equal to minus 1 plus previous weight that is 1 you will get uh, 0 here. Now this one how to calculate this particular thing. So previous weight is minus 1 x i y x i is minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 is equal to uh, plus 1 over here plus 1 minus 1 that will become 0 here. Now how to calculate this minus 2. So, this is a W3 new. W3 new is equal to W3 old that is minus 1 plus X3 multiplied by Y. X3 is 1, Y is minus 1 that is nothing but minus 1. Minus 1 previous old uh, weight is minus 1, it will become minus 2 here. Similarly, we have to calculate all these particular weights here. So, once you see both the inputs, we have done with uh, the modification of weights. Uh, we need to use this particular weights and then we need to come up with the final uh, hab network here. So, W1, W2 are 0, W4, W5, W7, W8, W9 and B all of them are, them are 0 here. W3 and W6 are minus 2. If we uh, use this particular weights, the hab network looks something like this. X1 to X9 is the input. Uh, X3 is minus 1 and X6 is minus 1 as shown in this case. That is uh, for x3, the weight is minus 2. For x6, the weight is equal to minus 2 in this case. Remaining all are 0. And this is the final hub network for the given uh, data set in this case. So, in this uh, video, I have explained how can we use a hub rule to find the hub uh, network for the given uh, data set. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.